Hey folks, Tennessee Brando here for Midas Touch. I've got a video here of Marjorie Taylor Greene that I'd really like for you to see. I kind of feel bad showing it to you because it's a new low even for Marjorie. Uh, she actually compares illegals crossing our border to Russians invading Ukraine. Yeah, you heard me correctly. You know, you would think that after the big red wave didn't happen, that MAGA Republicans might have a shred of humility. You might think somewhere in the back corner of their mind, they may say something like, you know, maybe we need to uh, stop demonizing people. Maybe we need to start reaching across the aisle and trying to uh, come up with ideas and solutions to make people's problems better, but not Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's doubling down harder than ever, demonizing people coming into our country by comparing them to Russians invading Ukraine. Yep, you heard me correctly. Roll that clip. We're ignoring the, the dangers happening at our border and the national security crisis that's happening in our country while we are completely protecting another country's border and also waging a proxy war with Russia. We had 5 million people cross our border illegally since Joe Biden took office. And let's compare that to how many Russians have invaded Ukraine. 82,000 Russians have invaded Ukraine. I think the American people and the taxpayers of this country deserve to know why the Biden administration and this Congress is so interested in funding the protection of Ukraine's border and not the protection of our border. That's a very good question. Yeah, I do believe that is the most disgusting clip of Marjorie Taylor Greene yet. To compare people coming to this country to seek a better life and to escape oppression and to find work and to live the American dream, she compares that with Russians invading Ukraine. And people wonder why there's so much division in this world. You never hear MAGA Republicans ever offer solutions. They simply try to demonize people even further. You know, I had a really good Latino friend and he is a, a legal American citizen now. He got his uh, citizenship and he lives here and supports his family. But I talked to him one time about what it was like before he became legal and what that was like living that way. And I asked this question, it's a question I've always wondered. I said, man, what was it like living like that knowing that at any given minute you could be arrested and he said, man, to be arrested in America is way better than living day-to-day -day life where I came from. I would take that risk any day. And you never hear the types of Marjorie Taylor Greene say, okay, how can we fix this situation? And how can we help these people who simply wants to come here and have a better life? Instead, she compares them to Russians invading Ukraine. They have absolutely no low that they won't reach. They do not care to demonize and push other people out of the argument altogether. And Marjorie Taylor Greene has said time and time again that she does not want to reach across the aisle. She does not want to unify with anybody. She wants to continue to force the MAGA Republican ideology. And she even goes so far as to say that she doesn't want, you know, the old Republican party. She wants the Donald Trump Republican party. And that's why folks, we have to fight this harder than ever. Okay, we stopped the big red wave from happening. It didn't happen. Gen Z came to bat and they knocked it out of the park for us. But we got to keep everybody energized and we got to keep them coming back in 2024 and coming back after that. Because these are the type of people we're facing. I know it's so easy for people to say stuff like, well, you know, both sides have their faults and, you know, both sides have their problems. And, you know, look, there is no both sides anymore to me. There is the Democratic Party who may be flawed, who may not always have the best of ideas, but at least they have ideas versus a party who has no problem demonizing people to the point of comparing them to Russia invading Ukraine. That is what the Republican Party has became, and that's what Marjorie Taylor Greene is proud that it became. We have to fight it now harder than ever. This is Fascism 101, and we have to take a stand against it. Because if we don't, everything that our grandfathers fought for is going to circle the drain. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it, and I want to remind you to click that subscribe button here on Midas Touch, one of the fastest growing news networks in the country. So much good content on here every single day. Uh, check out the uh, Midas Touch podcast and the Legal AF podcast. I myself learn so much from those every day. You can too. Be sure to click those subscribe buttons, follow us, and let everyone know where we're at and keep fighting the good fight against fascism. Until next time, I'm Tennessee Brando. You guys keep tuning in and we'll keep telling you the truth. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. 
And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged, you're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.